Hey, it's Whitney from EcoVeganGal.com, back for another uncensored video. If this is the first one that you're watching, you should check out the others. Um, I have one that says uh, EcoVeganGal Uncensored Intro, um, and that'll explain what this channel is about and how it's different from my other channel. Just so you don't get confused if you're brand new to the whole EcoVegan thing, this is my fourth channel. Um, but I have one main channel called Eco Vegan Gal on YouTube. Um, anyways, catching up on today, for those of you who already have watched my other videos, um, today was a much better day for me. I, well, actually, I shouldn't say that necessarily. I was still in my funk that I've been in, which is kind of like what inspired me to start doing these videos, um, until probably around, let's see, it's almost 2 a.m. now. I don't know, probably around 9 p.m. or something. I think I finally came out of it and I um, started to feel inspired to do video, a video. And that was one of the things that, part of my funk was that I just didn't feel like doing anything. I didn't want to create anything. I just felt tired and, and moody and I couldn't really figure out why. Um, I felt really frustrated and unmotivated and overwhelmed. It actually got really bad today, and I was trying to run it off. I've been running every day for the past, like, four or five days, and I'm trying to do that consistently to, to incorporate some more consistent uh, exercise into my life. And uh, that didn't help either, and so I was just, like, so, so frustrated, you know, to be in that, that space. Finally, I, I seem to have snapped out of it, and uh, I recorded a, a video, and I think I'm going to go do another one, even though it's super late. But then editing them is a whole other story. That's the thing I've said about in the other videos. It's like filming them is no big deal. Like that, that's why this channel is so nice is because I just film it and then I put it up. I don't do any editing whatsoever. So it's like no effort involved. And I really appreciate the feedback that I got from people through Facebook. I posted a note that I had uh, these videos and I got some really nice messages. I noticed view count has been going up even though it's a brand new channel and subscribers. I just want to thank you all for being so supportive and letting me know that you actually like this. Because again, you know, I feel like personally, I don't know if I would feel interested to watch a video of someone talking for 15 minutes about their life. <laughs> but then again, sometimes when you like somebody or you like what they're talking about, it, it is kind of nice and relaxing to just sit down and feel like you're almost having a conversation. So that's kind of my aim there. Um, you know, today also, I think what started me off feeling frustrated uh, was that I got really weird sleep as usual, but I, last night was especially weird. Um, I got, I went to bed probably between four and five and then was woken up, uh, around 7.30 and then went back to bed and then woke myself up at 9 a.m. because I wanted to go out to the store with my mom. And, uh, I was all ready, but I was I'm so grumpy. I don't know about you, but <laughs> I am like a total mess in the morning. Like when I first wake up, I just don't want to talk to anyone. And then a daze, like I, ugh, it's gross. Unless like the only t exception is if I got like a ton of sleep consistently, no disturbances. And I didn't have to like wake up to an alarm. If I can just wake up naturally, I'll usually be, uh, in a lot better mood. But if I have to wake up to an alarm, or I didn't get great sleep, forget about it. So here I am, like, so grumpy, and I'm just, I'm, like, just trying to wake myself up and get in a better mood. And my mom, you know, wanted to clean something up. She asked me to, to like, clean up the sink or something, and she's like, go get the, go get the, um, all-purpose spray and a paper towel and I was like I'm not getting a paper towel because the night before I had asked my parents I was like why are you using paper towels paper napkins can't you know can we at least use a recyclable kind or something made out of recycled materials and can we talk about other options and they've they've just been really resistant to that for some reason and uh so I I 
you know, I'm already in a bad mood this morning, so I'm like, I'm not using paper towels. She's like, well, then go get a rag. So I go get a rag, but it, like, delays me, and my mom just gets annoyed because I'm taking too long. And so she goes and grabs a paper towel, and I just snapped. And I didn't... That's my phone. Um... <laughs> It's actually kind of funny. I'll, I'll divert for a moment. My ex-boyfriend um, decided to try going vegetarian, which is really cool. Maybe I'll talk about that later on. But he just asked me if I was familiar with Chef Chloe, uh, who a lot of you probably know. Chloe Cossarelli, I think is how you pronounce her name. Oops. And I just wrote him too instead of saying yep. Okay. Anyways, that's what happens when you're talking and texting at the same time. So we'll talk, maybe I'll, I'll remember to mention that later on. But yeah, anyway, so my mom used a paper towel afterwards. I just got so mad that I just stormed off like a little kid, <laughs> didn't say a word to her, and just went back to bed. And, uh, you know, I bring that up because it's been so interesting living at my parents' place again. Overall, it's been great. I mean, it's exactly what I need right now where I, you know, don't have to pay rent and I don't have to work as much and everything's just a lot more relaxing and, and more focused. But the challenge here, you know, my parents have been really great. Like, we, you know, have great meals together and they're off doing their own thing. They both work for themselves at home and, uh, you know, that's great and all, but, like, the challenges has just been, like, with, with the eco-friendly and food. My parents went pescatarian um, pretty recently after I went vegan or vegetarian, and that was really exciting. You know, at first they thought it was weird that I was vegetarian, but my they've always been kind of into health. Actually, my whole family, my sister and my parents. Um, and... Uh, they they gave up all types of meat except for fish. And that was great for a while, and I was really excited about it, but, you know, the past few years, the more I learn about veganism and health, the more I want them to at least cut back on fish and dairy and at least understand what they're eating. I feel like they're, you know, eating that stuff because they've been told it's okay, but I can tell when I talk to them that they really just like the taste, especially with dairy. I think they realize that dairy isn't, like, that great for them. Uh, but fish, it's like they've really got... I think they really have it into their head that it's good. You know, people always make fish out to be... or seafood in general to, to be good for you, um, for omegas and all of that stuff. But, you know, I... I feel like there probably are some good benefits. You know, I feel like out of any type of animal product, fish probably is the healthiest option. But then you've got the whole mercury issue, and then you've got the sustainability thing. And I don't think that most people pay attention to that. And it's like my parents have no no clue where their seafood is coming from. Uh, they don't... I don't know. I don't think most people do because most, I don't think most seafood, I don't even pay attention to seafood. Uh, but I do know that there are some really good websites that you can go on and you can see like what are the more sustainable options. Um, but I don't, they're not really marked as far as I'm aware. And then there's like the difference between are you getting it from the ocean? Are you getting it from farms? Like they've actually got fish farms out there. And, uh, I don't know, it just makes me feel icky. And then and then most of the fish that they get is like wrapped in plastic and or styrofoam or, you know, it's just, ugh, it's gross. Um, but again, it's better that they're eating that than, than meat. But the problem is they're eating it like every single day. And I'm just like, seriously? The nice thing is, you know, my parents totally respect me for being vegan. They never make fun of it. They never challenge it. Totally cool. Every time we eat dinner together almost every night, and my dad always makes me something vegan. You know, we have salads, and then he'll either like make something and then add fish to it, or he'll make me something separate. So there's just that's awesome. I mean, I, I feel really fortunate for that, but the trick is, is it's hard for me to accept the amount of fish and dairy that they eat, and it's just like always cheese and always creamer and yogurt. <sighs> 
I should feel thankful though because they've been getting buying organic dairy, which is great. I mean, at least a step there, and they're buying it from better places. But it's just the amount, and I, it's just so frustrating for me. It's like they they straight out just admit that it's about just doing it because they want to, not because there's necessarily another reason for it. And I think they know, they're aware of the health. You know, they've seen Forks Over Knives. They've seen The Cove. They've seen, um, I've shown them a lot of documentaries, and they love watching them, but it just doesn't quite click for them. So I think today I had to kind of step back and just let go of a lot. You know, it's like... I feel like it's really hard for people that are passionate about veganism and environmentalism and health to accept other people's lifestyles um, because we feel like we know better. I don't like using the word better though because it is so biased no matter what lifestyle you choose to live. Like, there, I don't, I don't know, there's not an overwhelming answer you know, or right or wrong. Uh, as much as we would like to believe that veganic eating is the best way to be, I don't think that it, uh, there's, there's not necessarily 100% proof of that. I still obviously passionate, passionately believe in it, but I still think that there's evidence that some animal products might be healthy for us, you know? It's just so tough. I don't I don't know. I'm not going to eat that way myself. Personally, for environmental and animal rights reasons, I would rather risk my health than indulge in that, to have that type of lifestyle. I would have to take a major evidence and moment in my life, you know, maybe if I, my health suddenly rapidly declined, and I was, it was life or death moment, maybe I would choose to eat meat, some meat or dairy or animal products again. But my point is, is that it, I don't really try to argue with people that, that do eat animal products too much. You know, I state my case as gently and kindly and intelligently as possible. And if they don't want to do it, then that's up to them. You know, we can't force anybody to make those decisions. So I have to just let it go a lot. With environmental side, you know, my parents want more proof, and I guess that's frustrating for me. I'm like, this is my life and my career, and they know I'm intelligent, they know I study this, and I am constantly trying to educate myself, and yet it's not enough to take my word for it. They still want to use paper towels because they're convenient. They still want to use paper napkins. They still want to use your average toilet paper that's probably bleached and has all sorts of chemicals in it and wrapped in plastic. Um, they still want to use paper trash bags, um, even though, you know, they have reusable grocery bags. They still get paper because they want to put it in the trash. Um, so I've been thinking a lot about maybe ways I could do some more research to inform them, but I don't know if it's worth it. I think it, it's just too hard for them to change. And tissues. It's like everywhere I look, there's like something, you know. But I have to remember, you know, it's all about baby steps. My parents have come a long way, you know, since I've been here, which has been just under two months now, they have been eating a lot more organic foods. They have been, you know, obviously making more vegan meals because I'm here. And uh, I feel like there are a few other examples. But I think all of you can relate, right? It's, it's frustrating when the people that you're really close to, friends and family, just make choices because they're easier, they're convenient, or they're more pleasurable. I think I'm going to make another video because I'm almost at the 15 minute mark. So I want to talk about a few other things. So I'm going to end this one and then go record another one. <laughs>